Welcome back to not a vlog, but another episode of Tackling the Dream. That's why I decided to call it. Just behind the scenes video footage of me uh, doing things that's tackling my dream. I didn't post for two weeks and this is why I had to get my shop insulated for winter and I got it done. I had a couple days off for Thanksgiving from work and I spent the entire time working on it. Let me show you guys what I did. I re rearranged my tool wall, got it where it actually kind of looks cool for YouTube videos. I mean, you don't have to have that to make a video, but I think it looks nice. Redid this wall. I still got room for some more decorations along with a couch because I want to start making some sort of like podcast type videos. I got obviously more work to do, but this is going to be where I put my carrying box for the fishing lures and my paint booth is set up over there. Now, though this isn't the most exciting video, I am super, super stoked for having this thing insulated. It was uh, like 17 outside the other morning. I walked in here and was sitting right at 70. That's perfect because uh, one, airbrush paints are expensive. So if they freeze, it'd probably ruin them. And two, even if the airbrush paint's cold, it doesn't want to spray through the brush very well. So having those warm and a spot I can work. I keep telling everyone I'm building a studio. So it's a space, a creative space. The only problem I'm going to have, and it's not that big of a deal, is when I'm doing woodworking and I have the painting both in the same room, there's gonna be some problems with dust, but that's okay. Future shop will have an office, a wood shop, and a painting, all different rooms. But right now we got three in one, which usually costs more, right, to have a three in one. So this is what I've been doing. I was gonna film a video trying to do it. I started working on it, realized how big of a project it was, and just went as hard as I could to get it done. So it's done. I got the brown trout video posted a couple of hours ago. So if you haven't watched that, I'll have it linked below. Uh, I've got two more videos for the trout series, and then we're gonna move on to doing some more of your guys' requests. Number one being the wood shads. So along with the pattern, that's on my list. Don't worry, so many people requested that. And the other one is a spray painting video. I've also got some things on the way in the mail that will be videos this week. And a whole bunch of you did say that you would like a stencil package. So I've got stuff together to start doing that. Uh, it's gonna be like 10 or 12 different types of stencils all in a package for like 10 bucks, I think is what I'm gonna do. So that works. I'm gonna do two of each pattern, if that makes sense. That way if you're painting a bait, you can do two baits at once. So working on that, hoping to have that done by the end of the week. I also filmed a video for a lure painting for beginners with a beginner. My buddy Dustin was his first time painting a fishing lure. I filmed that before I rearranged the whole shop. So that video is gonna come out, I'm hoping this week. So if you see that and it's like the old setup and you're confused, that's why I filmed it, started doing this, kind of put everything on hold till I got the shop done. But now we're back into production mode, making videos. I'm stoked and I hope you guys had a phenomenal Thanksgiving. Uh, be on the lookout for some more videos this week and a whole winter's worth of fun. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you later.